Welcome to the Rebel to Succeed podcast. It's your boy, Inc. Anthony Williams, the founder of RebelToSucceed.com. The purpose of this podcast is to share tips, advice, and strategies to help you improve in all areas of your life. My mission is to make a positive difference in your life to help you live your best life. Now let's get it. What up, Rebels? It's your boy, Ann from Rebel to Succeed, coming at you with another podcast episode. So today, in this podcast episode, I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about something that's not really talked about a lot, um, especially in, um, especially in, you know, amongst men. Um, this is something that I was never taught. I had to learn on my own. And I want to talk about, you know, the power of um, sex energy and how you can use your sex energy to um, help manifest the things that you want in your life. Um, so right off the bat, I know that, this, you know, this information may be foreign to a lot of men in particular. Um, cause I can only, you know, speak from a man's perspective because I'm a man, but this definitely applies to women and, um, it's, it's, it, it definitely has made a difference in my life. I'll say I did speak about this before and I, I like to, can, you know, cont- um, continue to share this information because I know this is very powerful. Something that I learned from the book, Think and Grow Rich. So for all of my listeners, you will um, get a, a, a deep dive. You will um, get a deep dive into this type of information um, within the uh, Think and Grow Rich audio book that I would like to share with you guys. So I learned this from Napoleon Hill from Think and Grow Rich. And, you know, the chapter is called, you know, the the transmutation of sex. The sex It's called the transmutation of sex energy and it's it's basically done by um instead of you relieving your your, uh, your sex energy through you know trying to pr- uh, procreate um you basically channel that energy and put it into your goal put it into your vision um help you know just use it to focus on your goal so that leaves us with First off, having a goal. If you don't have something that you're working on, you don't have a goal, you don't have something that you're working towards, you're already behind. So you got to have something to channel this energy into. If you don't have something to channel your energy into, you're, you're in trouble. So first off, get a goal. If you don't have a goal, you don't have something to work towards, you need to do that, right? And I, you can guys can go back and listen to all of the other um, content that I, you know, I talked about as far as um, you know goals. I don't want to ram- I don't want to ramble on about goals too much in this episode. But if you don't have a goal, get a goal. Second, you want to use all of your energy and put it into trying to reach your goal. So whenever you feel, um, me personally, I'll, I'll just speak for me. Whenever I feel, you know, you know, that horny energy or that, that the urge to want to relieve, relieve myself, um, then I will go and I'll try to put myself to work, you know? So you got to think about this from a, a very common sense type of um, viewpoint. So your sex energy, you know, that energy is creative energy because you use it to create another human being. So at at its core, it's creative energy. You know, and it's something that I learned um, a while ago. Like I said, when I read that that book, Thinking for Rich, and it really didn't, I really, it didn't, I didn't, 
resonate with it right right away, but it did make sense as as I you know researched it later on. But um, if you think about it, you know this energy is used to create. We're all creators. We were put here to create. So, um, instead of you wasting your creative energy, um, because I, I personally feel like if you're if you're not using this energy to create, then you're you're wasting it, right? It's a waste of energy. So, um, you want to get a reward, or basically you be productive with your energy. It's very you know vital. You know, you have the ability to create another person with this energy. So that means it's very vital. So me personally, I try to channel all of this energy into whatever goal I'm chasing at the time. You know, that sometimes that fluctuates um, depending on, on what I'm doing. Um, but I personally encourage you guys to channel all of your sexual energy into your goal. You know, you don't want to waste it. You know, God has given you that energy for a reason. So use it wisely. Use it wisely. Um, so, yeah, that's what I do. You know, um, a lot of people, they call it semen retention. Uh, some people call it sex transmutation. I just call it regular. At this point, I just call it regular life. You know, this is just a lifestyle for me. I feel like I am living the way I'm supposed to be living. You know, a lot of people may call me weird for that. They may call me um, odd. They may think that's odd. But <clears throat> I think that this is normal. I think that by you doing that, by you, you know, doing this, channeling all of your sexual energy into... um creating something, I'm doing, I'm using that energy productively. I'm using it the way God wanted me to use it. So, um, it's creative energy. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's creative energy. So you're supposed to use it to create, either use it to create another human being, or you use it to create a business, or you use it to create a piece of art, or you use it to create a better body, or you use it to create um, I don't know, a great meal. Use it to create um, you know, I don't I don't know, whatever you want to create, you know, but it's it, but you have to understand that from its core, it's creative energy, right? And you're supposed to use it to create. So me personally, you know, for men, I'm a man. If you go and you have sex with your partner and you're not, you know, using it to have to, to try to create a baby. You're literally wasting that energy. There's going to be a consequence for you wasting that energy, right? Because for you to create another human being, you 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 have to give a part of yourself to create that human being, right? Your sexual energy is a part of you. So whatever you wherever you put that energy into, wherever you release it at, you're you're giving a part of yourself, right? And you have to look at it from that point. It's it's that important. You're giving a part of yourself. You're sacrificing a part of you. And, you know, a lot of people, they may think like, man, that's, well, you're getting a little too deep. That's too um, deep with it. But I mean, that's, <laughs> you know, when you when you create a baby, right, you're 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 transferring a part of your DNA. You're like you're everything is in that energy. Your everything is in that energy. You are in that energy, a piece of you. So any way you want to look at it, you know, you're you're sacrificing you. So you don't want to waste you. You know, you don't want to waste your life, you know. Me personally, I can, you know, I think of it as if I go and I have sex with my partner or not even my my wife and I, you know, waste his energy, I am I feel like I'm wasting my life literally because this energy is my life. It's my life energy, right? I have to, you have to give life to, to bring, bring about life. So you don't want to waste your life. You know, have you ever heard somebody say like you're wasting your life away? I personally feel like that's literally what you're doing 
when you you go and you have sex with your partner and you don't you know use it to create another human being you don't you don't use it to reproduce so um be you know guard your energy be very uh be very smart with what you do with your energy. You know, choose wisely. Um, be, you know, be uh, responsible with that energy. You know, so um, this is why I feel like I'm very focused on, you know, this is what I feel makes me very ambitious and things of that nature. Um, and, I, you know, I kind of feel like it's like your superpower. You know, because we all have the urge to create. You know, that, that horny energy is your urge to create. I feel like we were all put here to reproduce, to, you know, continue to continue the human race, you know, continue to push it forward. And when you're when you know your body is created to do that, you were created to do that. So um when you don't uh you know create and you know your body, you know, feels like you're not creating is going to, um, you know, try to urge you to do that because that's what you're here to do. You're here to reproduce. So um, we we are all creators. You are creators, you know. So if you're not creating, um, then you're you're probably um, wasting away, you know. So um, yeah, man. I mean, you know, I know this is a very touchy subject for people, but um, it's something that you have to understand. A lot of the, you know, a lot of the most successful people in the world have used this. Um, if you go and you listen to Think and Grow Rich, you know, um, you know, Napoleon Hill shares his information, and you know, a lot of the information that he shared in the book is information that he learned from the most successful people. You know, so um, if you want to be successful and you want to um, follow in the footsteps of successful people then this may be something that you, you want to adapt into your life and make a lifestyle for you, you know, because some of the some of the world's most successful people have done just this, have done just that. You know, they, they practice um, transmuting that energy and using their creative energy and putting it into and focusing it on, you know, things that they want to create, you know. So, um, you know, it's just super, it's just super power. So, Make sure that you, um, you know, use it wisely. Use it wisely. Don't waste it. Use it wisely. And again, this applies to women and men. It's not just for men. It applies for women as well. But I can only, you know, attest to my personal, um, you know, uh, experience with it as, as, you know, as, you know, as me being a man. So um, I know that, it, you know, I feel like I. I'm very energetic and I can get a lot done when I'm not just wasting my energy. So, um, yeah, at this point, like I said, again, it's, it's, you know, it's a lifestyle for me. Hopefully you guys can, um, you know, if you never heard, heard of this before, hopefully you guys learned something. Um, hopefully you guys can, maybe you want to research it more. You can research it more. Um, again, you, you will be hearing about this and, uh, you know, in one of the upcoming chapters of Think and Grow Rich because, you know, Napoleon Hill, he explains it in his book, Think and Grow Rich. Um, so you'll get a, a, you know, a deeper dive into it and you might learn, you know, some things about it in the book. Um, so be looking out for that. But, um, yeah. Um, however, you know, it's, it's, it's on you to be able to be responsible with your creative energy, use it wisely. Um, I encourage you guys to use it to, you know, focus on your goals, get a goal. Use it to focus on your goal and, um, you know, watch, watch, watch you create something beautiful. You know, you can either create a beautiful human being or you can create a beautiful business or something. You know what I mean? So it's all creative energy. So use it to create. Don't waste it. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you guys found value in this episode. If so, leave a review. Let me let me guys know what you thought about this episode. Go to rebel to succeed dot com. Check out the content there. And last but not least, be a rebel. Reach everybody by exercising love. And, um, you know, yeah, put a, put a smile on somebody's face. Be a positive force in somebody's life today. And, um, yeah, it's your boy Ann from Rebel to Succeed. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.
I want to thank you for joining me today and listening to this podcast. If you found this episode helpful or valuable in any way, then I encourage you to leave an honest review and subscribe to the Rebel to Succeed podcast for future episodes. To receive more content and value, make sure to visit the Rebel to Succeed website at www.rebeltosucceed.com. And finally, always remember that to succeed in life, you have to reach everyone by exercising love. So make sure to show somebody some love today. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you next time.